Good evening everybody. So I'm just going to do a quick video tonight and just show you how to use some of the chrome powders just in case you don't know or just so you can see how pretty they are. Um, I'm going to show you our ambassador set because they're just so nice. Like I wear them on my toes because I like to have my nails really different but then the chrome just looks so pretty on your toes. Um, in that set we have seven. I'm missing one by the looks of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven there. And I'll just show you them over black because I think black's the best. Using the Glitter Bells uh, black gloss again. I'm having to use my absolutely massive tips because I've run out of practice tips. But never mind, doesn't matter. Let's pop that in the lamp. And while that's cooking, I'm going to do another one just so we can. Don't take too long doing a bit of nothing. I'm using my very pretty rose gold pusher from my uh, rose gold set. Oh, I hit the camera. Sorry, guys. Which you can get. Check that out. Definitely had to go for the rose gold tools. Very nice indeed. Mm. They're on the website. In a fancy little case. How nice. Da -da -da -da. It's really weird painting on the tip that's not actually shaped like here. Do -do 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 -do. Put that one in the lap and do another coat on this one. If you have any questions guys just fire away and if I don't answer it I'll reply to you or I can message you after so no worries about that So with chrome powder, you want to do them to the finish. So you do your colour, and then you do your top coat, and cure it till it's done. And you want to use the no wipe top coat, because if you use one that's got a tacky layer, it doesn't work. So I'm going to just do the two coats of that for now. And then you're going to go in with your no wipe top coat. I'm actually going to use my new one. Because that one's full of glitter and this is a nice fresh brand new bottle. With no glitter. So you just want to go in and top coat as you do. in the lamp for 30 seconds and we'll do this one in the lamp too. <clears throat> so, I will show you. These are actually got the old stickers on as well. I like our new ones, if anyone's seen them already. If you've got our calendar, they're on them pots. So in this set, there is seven. 
And this one hasn't got a name on for some reason, but or a sticker. But never mind. So we've got the blue, which is Stephanie. We've got Kelly. We've got Keely. We've got Megan. We've got Christy. We've got Nicola. And Claire is the silver one. And these are all like a really nice, if you want that uh, really nice like mirror effect, then yeah, this is the set to go for. So we've got two nails cured. So these are both fully cured. So they've had the two coats of gel polish in the colour and then a uh, top coat. Once that's fully cured, you then get your colour. So let's go for purple first. There you go. Now chrome powders can be a little bit messy. Depends if you're a messy person. So you can use your finger. Obviously my nails are way too long to get in that pot. So what I use instead is just an eyeshadow applicator. And you literally need one little dab maybe a little bit more and you just want to go straight in and brush it on simple as that oh my nails come off the tip see I did one brush and it done that whole nail and it could still probably do more And then, like always, use a little dusty brush just to brush off any unwanted powder. And there you go. Easy as that. And then you just go back in with your no wipe top coat to cap that beautiful colour onto the gel. Make sure you always get your edges, otherwise it may chip, and you do not want that. Let's get down the lamp for you. <coughs> so that was the purple one. Which is Nicola. Next we will go for, oh let's go for a nice bit of gold, oops, and it's rolling away from me, gold is Keely, it's very very pretty, and the same again, just go in with your little brush, you can use the same side, let's give it a little brush off. You can go in, give it a little dab, and then just brush it on. You can see the colours are just so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's such a solid colour. That's not the word, but that's that will do for now. Look at that. So mirror. Little bit of a brush. And that's over black, you wouldn't even know you had black on unless you go like that. Let's top coat that one for you. I think what you just have to make sure of is when you're doing your gel polish just make sure there's no like bubbly bits like I've, you can probably see because the chrome really picks up any little default in the nail so where you can see and you can even see the number coming through the gel I've not done it so even 
So while that is curing, look at that. Very nice indeed. So, so far we've done Nicola and we have done Keely. Who wants to see um, blue, which is Stephanie? Sorry about that, guys. My phone decided to ring. Um, and we're going to go in with black again. So yeah, let's see if we can try and do it with no bubbles this time. Can we get that cured? To measure gold. <coughs> and I have just lost, oh there it is, my blue pet. And when you apply any of the powders, it's exactly the same for the chameleon, the peacock, normal chrome, um, what else have we got? Or like the tridimensional or aurora powder. You literally just top coat and rub it on. And you can use your finger, you can use a brush, you can use a whatever you want. Some people use the uh, silicon, like rubber brushes. I just haven't got around to buying one yet. This is the bit that just takes a little bit of time. Should have got some more blue tack and some sticks. There we go. And then just top coat this one. If we want to top coat this one. Just like so. <coughs> so we'll go for this one. A really nice deep blue and pink this is Megan <clears throat> this is a really nice one too you can do all sorts of things with these as well you can just like blend them and have different effects you can do like a fade so you can do half the nail 
and then get another colour or do it half and half that way. <coughs> Again, let's just make sure, get rid of that gold, or you can even use the other end. Let's use the other end. And we're just going to go in with a bit of blue. Rub it all on. Like so. A little bit of a dust. <coughs> and top coat. Easy as that, everyone. And then I'll show you this pink one as well. It is so pretty. Look at that. Just a really easy but really nice set of nails you could do with this. <clears throat> it's a really nice colour. And top coat. So who's excited for the uh, Black Friday sales? Hmm. Very interesting indeed. There's your blue. Make sure we put the right lids on. We've got a really nice rose goldy one, which is Christy, and a really nice ooh, lilac. This is the colour I had for my holiday toes, and it was so nice. And then we have Claire, which is silver. I mean, it is, I thought it was the same to our um, normal chrome. But they do come out different. This one's more uh, more of a block silver, I think. I think that's yeah. It's more solid, more of a solid colour. <coughs> Has anyone ever used the um, peacock or? Chameleon powders before because they're they're really nice. There you go. That's the pink. Do 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 do. do. <clears throat> oh, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat this evening. One coat of black in the lamp for 30 seconds and then the second layer on this one and we'll put that back in the lamp And let's do the second coat on this one. Just 
I'm going to sweep those two. Make sure your um, sponge is nice and clean. It doesn't have to be too clean as long as it, nothing like there's nothing more coming off of that now. And it should be fine. Oops. And then your top coat. My top coat is now sparkly pink. Oh dear. See the sparkly pink? That is not good at all. Because that is not what I wanted. Never mind, a little sparkle won't hurt. So they're both now top coated and they're in the lamp for 30 seconds. That's the lilac. And the rose gold. They're both done, so I'll show you these two. We'll go for the lilac one first. How pretty is that? A little bit of a dust. So you don't want that in your top coat like I've done. If you can help it. Very pretty. And let's show you the rose gold. It's a really, really nice rose gold, this one. I'll give that a bit of a dust. Give me a bit of a dust, I'm absolutely covered today. And let's top coat that one for you. <coughs> Camera doesn't really want to focus. Let's get it in the lamp. Still definitely my favourite. There's my little light. Let's see if that will give us a better lighting. Doesn't really make much difference to be honest. 
Never mind, I think it needs new batteries. But that, that's the lilac. And it's still my blue tack. Let's quickly do the black for the last one, which is silver. We all have a bit of silver chrome sometimes. There's the rose gold one. And then last but not least is the silver. You can get this set on the site under chrome powder or um, it might even be under ambassador. I'll have to double check but they are all on there. You can buy them as a set and I can't actually remember if we sell them singularly but I def they're definitely on this, this set. So keep an eye out over the weekend so you can get a good deal. because we are doing a Black Friday. So more of a weekend, as everybody is. We'll just wait a few more seconds for that to cure. So last but not least is silver. So if you like to have nice silver nails or even silver toes, then why not try this one? There you go. Let's get some top coat on there. Very nice indeed. So that's all of them. We have the blue, we have the lilac, we have gold, we have a rose gold, we have purple, we have a pink. And last but not least, we have a silver. There we go. 
there's all of the colors in that set well i hope you learned a little something from this today and enjoyed looking at my chrome powders thank you everyone